Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. We are ready to rumble. Oh yeah. This is obviously a gray elbow parking lot, so I'm gonna have to be careful on some of these holes up here. Yeah. Otherwise I could sink my truck all of a sudden, right? <laughs> I don't want to do that. But yeah, it looks like they have built a coal across the street. Oh wow, yeah, there's a truck that got stuck over there. Oh, hey, that's an H&R. He just about got into the ditch up there. He ain't going nowhere. He's going to have to get a tow truck to get towed out of there. He probably got here late last night and he figured he could go around there. And that didn't work out so good for him. Yeah, yeah. I decided uh, I was going to go inside and have me a breakfast before I left, so that's what we did. So now we are all good to go. In 200 meters, turn right on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 1. Now I have had nine and a quarter hours off, so I'm almost at my 10, but need 45 more minutes. And the way it works up here in Canada, if you do that, if you're on your way home or stuff like that, usually that's not a problem. As long as you have that other half or that other 45 minutes that I need off before my 13 hours are over, right? Continue on this well, that's road. all I have to do. And that's kilometers. if I just stop for eight hours and would have gone. Then I need uh, to have two hours off before my 13 hours are over. But generally, you know, you stop somewhere, you go in and have a bite to eat or whatever. By the time you're done with that, you know, it's easily 45 minutes. So you do that two times in a day or a couple of times in a day and you're done, you know. But I usually don't do the eight hour the eight hour thing, you know, sleeping uh, for eight hours and get up and going. I like to have my full eight hours of sleeping and then get up and, you know, maybe put a video together yet and all that. So, so yeah. Anyways, we're going to put the hammer down today. We're actually going to go a little faster today than we normally do. Normally a cruiser at 96 kilometers an hour. Well, we got 110 speed limit up here. So we're gonna do 110 today. Yeah. That's about almost 70 miles an hour. Yep. So everybody's gonna like, oh wow, that penner is going fast today. But yeah, I am because the speed limit is high today and I'm empty. I'm not really worried too much about my fuel mileage today because I'm empty. Hardly any wind out here. And the other thing is I want to get home ASAP. Although I did waste that time going in having breakfast, but a man has got to eat too, right? If you want to work, you got to eat. Or if you want to live, you got to eat. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is, but... Anyways, let's put the hammer down and let's go home. Thank you for riding along with me today. We're going to show you some goodies today. That's for sure. Alrighty guys and gals, we have now passed Brandon, Manitoba. And it's been doing this kind of stuff here for the last, I would say, 45 minutes of my driving. It's been sort of, I don't know, snow mixture of ice and rain and all that stuff. So it's, it's kind of raining, but at the same time there's ice in it. So yeah, it's not too much fun and it started getting really windy too. So uh, we slowed her down a little bit. But yeah, we're still cruising along here. We got about two and a quarter hours till we get home. And then we'll be home sweet home. Yeah. That's right. We got 150 kilometers till we get to Winnipeg. That's right. But yeah. 
I was kind of hoping we would be out of this kind of white stuff that you see, but uh, hey, it's still doing that. But what can you do, right? It's that time of the year, they always say April does what they want, right? Well, the weather does what they want, anyways. <laughs> Nothing we can do about it. Oh well. Let it snow, let it snow. That's what I say. As long as I can get home safely, that's all that matters. And I do want to get home safely, that's for sure. But yeah, we'll uh, continue cruising down the highway here. And see what happens. Here we are, guys and gals. We are now in Steinbach. We have just dropped our tray. And so we are gonna go home get ready to go to Winnipeg. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen this is what has happened I uh, I you guys can probably tell I am back in the truck and uh, yeah I took my camera with me on this particular day to Winnipeg but uh, for some odd reason I just didn't really feel like recording or whatever and was a little bit of a special moment that we had with our friends in Winnipeg there uh, she uh, well we kind of had like a uh, two friends that had both of their wives had a birthday in one week so one had the birthday there last week Monday and one has got a birthday here uh, well actually you know when this video is being recorded it was gonna be the upcoming Monday when this one lady has a birthday and the other one has got a birthday coming up on well I think it's Wednesday no it's gonna be Thursday I'm just looking at the calendar over there on the it's gonna be Thursday on the 21st so we kinda had like a combined birthday party for both of them and so uh, we had a bunch of people over there and I figured you know what I'm not just I'm not just going to record that you know and have all of those people on there and some of them are not really you know wanting to be on video and stuff like that especially women you know they don't always want to be on video and stuff so uh, I decided you know what uh, I'm not going to be recording anything so I figured well I got to put an end to this video or, or at least finish it off and then uh, that way we can uh, at least have some kind of a video or whatever you know I know you saw a little bit of me uh, driving back uh, back home on you know on this particular day but uh, yeah so that's what happened here but uh, I wanna wanna see if I can do something I did not record anything for Sunday which is tomorrow I know I'm recording this like several days after the fact but uh, so what I'm planning on doing is uh, I'm sort of thinking about maybe doing a live show tomorrow I haven't quite decided yet if I'm actually going to do it or not but uh, keep an eye on YouTube there uh, maybe I'll even uh, like well I mean by the time Sunday rolls around you should have watched this video already but uh, if not that's okay I guess but uh, I'm sort of thinking if I'm going to be in Canada and uh, if I will have good internet wherever I'm at that, that day then uh, I might just do a live show on Sunday because I don't have anything recorded yet for Sunday so what my plan is to uh, do a live show on Sunday then if I can have good internet right so uh, so yeah anyways we'll get out of here I hope you enjoyed the little video anyways and be sure to stick around next week uh, Monday is when we're going to hit the road again so uh so yeah thanks for watching and be sure to rate this video up and we will see you again uh possibly tomorrow on the live show or if not then we'll see you again on monday so thanks for watching <laughs>